Well, good Saturday morning to you guys. The job of a general manager is never done, whether he's the last one to leave or the first one to get to the complex. Royals general manager Dayton Moore. And Dayton, you guys have been so busy trying to restock this team, a team that's already powerful. What's it like for you having to constantly wheel and deal and try to make this team better every week? Well, I mean, that's, that's part of it, obviously. We're fortunate to have a, a great group of scouts that uh, make uh, excellent recommendations. And, um, you know, you're, you're always planning for worst case scenario. So the depth's very important, uh, especially, you know, in spring training. Uh, and we feel like that, uh, you know, we've accumulated a lot of good depth. And you guys pick up a key pitching acquisition yesterday in Mike Miner from the uh, Atlanta Braves. What can you tell us about this guy? Well, Mike, uh, you know, he, he was a high draft pick uh, out of Vanderbilt. Uh, actually went through the uh, minor leagues very quickly with the Braves. Ascended fast, as I said, and, um, you know, had a lot of success, you know, with the Braves uh, early on and uh, had a setback with his shoulder. Very similar to Chris Medlin. Injury's a little different, but uh, similar contracts uh, and similar timelines. Uh, Mike uh, is probably not expected to, to pitch until uh, probably June this year in the major leagues, and then we'll, we'll see, you know, where he is. But uh, he certainly factors in uh, as part of our rotation uh, in the future. Another guy from the, the Braves. I was talking to Kevin Seitzer a couple of weeks ago. He's the hitting coach with the Atlanta Braves, and, and of course your roots are with the Braves and John Sherholtz and Ned Yost. And what is it about these two organizations that have so many parallels that you guys have been successful and you continue to win? Well, it really goes back to Mr. K. I mean, Mr. K obviously, uh, you know, created a, a, a great model organization here in Kansas City. Uh, John Sherholtz was, uh, was a part of that, of course, and, uh, <clears throat> you know, was very successful, went to Atlanta and, and uh, very successful there as he partnered up with Bobby Cox and uh, so uh, you know we're just fortunate to be around a lot of good baseball people but really it originated in Kansas City. Hmm. Well Dayton last question for you you and Ned contract extensions I mean I know you don't like to talk about you and and the things that you're doing here which are tremendous and everybody in Kansas City is very grateful for the team that you guys have built but for you guys to be together and Ned said he wanted to stick around as long as you were around what does that mean for you personally for a guy to want to stay along with you for the duration of his career well it's important you know every relationship you have in the organization is vital it's crucial but uh, none more really than the the manager general manager relationship uh, it doesn't mean that uh, Ned and I see everything the same we don't uh, you know the diverse of opinion is, is very important for our success, but at the end of the day, we know uh, we both want what's best for the Kansas City Royals. So we've always been able to find common ground uh, with the direction, you know, of the team. And you know, we're fortunate to have a great manager in Ned and unbelievable coaching staff. Uh, and as I said, it's just uh, it's a great group to be around. Well, it's a great group to watch, and the numbers are through the roof. Everybody is Royals crazy, not only just in Kansas City, but all around the country. General Manager Dayton Moore joining us, and guys, that's going to do it from Surprise Arizona. Let's send it back to Kansas City. Thank you.